This world has such diverse size of living organisms right from this largest blue whale to an elephant, a human, a cat and that tiny ant. But do you think does it end here? No. There is so much more beyond our imagination and you won't even believe that there are not just millions or billions but there are more than trillions of organisms that you and I can't even see. These organisms are called as microorganisms. Do you want to know more about them? Here they are. So these organisms, they cannot be seen with the help of naked eyes and they demand a powerful microscope to see them. So how many types of them are there? There are majorly five types, which are bacteria, viruses, fungi, protozoa and algae. Dear friends, they also call them microbes. So let us start understanding the first one which was bacteria. So bacteria, these are those single celled tiny organisms which can be either spiral shaped, rod shaped or comma shaped. They are just a few micrometers in size and will you believe that they are present everywhere around you. They are present in the air, water, soil and even in your mouth. You'll be surprised to know that there are not just 5, 10 or 100 but around 1000 to a lack of bacteria on each tooth of your mouth. And not just that. These bacteria, there are more, you know, they are more in your mouth as compared to the total number of people in the world. Isn't that crazy? Well, you will not even touch your cell phone if I tell you that these are the most suitable, these are the perfect breeding ground for these bacteria. So aren't these creepy? Well, they are more because they cause various diseases in you. For example, like cholera, tuberculosis, anthrax and many more. So these were the bacteria. Now next let us talk about the viruses. So viruses, they are again those tiny organisms with a very peculiar characteristics. And what is that? Viruses are only and only living when they are present inside a living body. So when they enter a living body, they immediately start multiplying. They multiply again and again to cause various diseases in you such as uh, cold, flu, polio, chickenpox and many more. Do you have any idea that a single drop of water contains millions of viruses? Not just that, if you line viruses end to end, they will spread 10 to the power 8 light years into the space, which is almost two times the diameter of the Milky Way. Aren't these crazy again? Well, yes. Viruses, they are also found everywhere around you, right from the air, water, soil and even, like I said, sometimes inside you too. Next, we are going to see the fungi. So fungi, these are the only microorganisms which can be seen with the help of a magnifying glass. These fungi, they feed upon the dead matter. They usually feed upon the dead matter and this digestion, it takes place outside their body. How does it happen? Well, they have those hair-like structure which we call hyphae. So these hyphae, they dig into the food material and break it down into the simpler form. Now the fungi, they can easily absorb the simpler form and can use this food for the various purposes. Now, as I just told you that fungi, they feed upon the dead material. Actually, they can feed upon anything, anything that was once living. So it can be like dead fruits, flowers or let's say dead plants, animals or anything. So we can simply call them death lovers. Next we are going to see the protozoa. So protozoa. So these organisms they are animal like structures and they are so so dangerous that these protozoans they can even feed upon the other microorganisms. And not just that they also feed upon the other protozoans too. 
So aren't these dangerous? Well, yes they are as they cause many diseases in us as well. For example, diseases like let's say malaria, dengue and many more other diseases are caused by protozoans. The last which we are going to see is the algae. Yes, so algae, they are amazing. They are very, very useful to us. Can you guess why? Well, because they produce or they, you know, help in the production of almost 87% of the total world's oxygen. Aren't they so cool? Yes, they are even cooler because they are also found in snow. So algae, they can be found in any part of the world and they have almost 27,000 species. They are very, very cool, right? So, students, in this lesson, you have learned that microorganisms, these are those organisms which cannot be seen with the help of naked eyes. They need a microscope to see them. We have learned that there are five type of microorganisms which are bacteria, viruses, fungi, protozoa and algae. Bacteria, they can be found in either spiral, rod or comma shaped. They cause diseases such as cholera, tuberculosis, etc. Next, we have seen viruses. Viruses are tiny microorganisms which mostly cause diseases like cold, flu, chickenpox, polio, etc. Next, we discussed about the fungi. Fungi, these are those organisms which mostly feed upon the dead and decaying matter. Next, we have seen protozoa. Protozoa are those tiny animal-like structures and they cause various diseases such as malaria, dengue, etc. Last, we have seen the algae. Algae, they are responsible for the production of most of the world's oxygen.